Dear friends must understand what we are facing on a daily basis and should be prepared to follow instructions as given. One after the other. Here in IPOB, you do what you are told to do and you will see the positive results in less than no time. Do you know what it means for a whole country to plan an operation nationwide because of a group of people? That is how strong IPOB is. Some of you don't know this. We are the only people they are afraid of. Only IPOB. No other human being. You must understand this. Where are these gossipers when we paid 40 million to secure the release of our people? Cash. Have you heard of that before? You abduct somebody from his house. You take him to prison. There is no prima facie case, nothing. You cannot prosecute the case for two years. And you ask the person to pay 20 million before they leave jail. IPOB raised 40 million and paid. Ask some of these yappers and rubbish talkers on Facebook. Where were you? How much did you contribute to release our people from jail? Nothing. We paid it. We paid it. When we announced the boycott of Anambra elections, we did so with the belief that they will leave us alone. But they will not leave us alone. They will never ever leave us alone. Our determination to boycott general elections on the 16th of February is sacrosanct. And as I said before, and I will continue to say it, if our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. All those peddling the rumor that I've asked our people to vote are evil and mischievous. I made... There is a saying where we come from for those of us that grew up in the village. Or for, should I say for those of you that grew up in the village. With me as, as I did. That is why I said sometimes that um, in our culture, living in the township can be very, very detrimental to the well-being of a person. As a... Our people no longer know what is an adage or a proverb. They don't understand. I said, let me repeat. I threw a challenge to politicians and I said, if you claim you are genuine about fighting for Biafra, because some of our brothers have been making the claim that we should vote in federal elections, people, have, people are entitled to their views and their opinions. I respect that. You have your own views, I respect it. Also respect mine. And defeat me with a superior argument. They said that we should engage in federal elections. Senators and House of Reps and whatever it is that comes with it. And I said, if they want us to vote for them to go to Abuja to represent us, they should come out and declare openly that they support what IPOB is doing. It is called a challenge. And some of you that doubt that you don't understand what a challenge is, a challenge I know they can never meet, some of you actually took that to mean that I asked you to go and support politicians. I came back here. Anyway, it's your education. I couldn't one strike for four, 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 four and a half years. You go to school for six months and then you write your, your time paper and you come out. A graduate. You can't even spell your own name. Very sad indeed. That you can no longer reason. No longer, no, we can no longer, I can no longer speak to you in proverbs or in adage. No more. That's how sad it has become. A simple challenge. Somebody construed that to mean that I said it should come. Are you? Uh, I feel sorry for some of you and the school that you went to, to be honest. A simple challenge to those taking political office to openly declare for Biafra if they need our support is not tantamount to endorsement of Nigerian elections, but rather a demonstration of the limitations of the capacity of these politicians to side with their people in times of crisis. Very simple. While Buratai is dancing around my house, patrolling my, in my village, Isama Farouk, <laughs> Bokaram attacking his village. Do you see the irony of the whole nonsense? Six people killed in his village. While he was he's busy parambulating around Isama Farouk, my compound, Bokaram are doing damage. But Igbo politicians will not stand up and say, Oh, let us send Operation Patton Crocodile 8 to, to the north. Never. They will never say it. 
because they are cowards. The only place they find solace is, oh, come and attack them, come and attack them. They, they want to break up Nigeria, come and kill them. Therefore, why? Mehono, Ojiriye, Jiriye, then. Saying that he's glad IPOB are being killed. They for my. They for my. There is something called on Salah where we come from. An abomination against the land. In those days, somewhere like Dave Omahi will be escorted to the back of the house and buried alive because he's evil. But people still support him. He has press men that write rubbish and give to the media. Dave Omahi and Okezi Ibazu is re directly responsible for the current kidnapping and siege in our land. Those two men, evil men. No, Biano is evil. He thinks he has gotten away scot free, but no. They will all pay very dearly for it. Don't allow idiots to get into your brain because we are boycotting the elections. Understand it very clearly. Understand it very, very clearly simple as that we owe it our, as a duty to our fallen heroes and victims of, of operation pattern dance that the two men most responsible for their death are not returned to power and let me be very honest with you if we had known that they would bring another pattern dance we would have removed Obiano from office I'm being very honest if we had known that they would continue to bring Ami to continue killing us, we would have removed Obiano from office. That's a fact. So if they kill everybody, how would you know? Well, who is going to fight Biafra for you? You are online chatting rubbish as, as, as always. As always. So if you are in Biafra and you lose an argument, you go and form your own country. Uh, uh, you have your own autonomous Biafran Republic in your village because you lost an argument. Just imagine. They go behind your back, they go and collect rich, uh, recharge card money from politicians. They think they can destroy IPUB, but they are dreaming. Baby saboteurs are new recruits into the cult of betrayers, you know. That when we started, little did we know that our governors and politicians would be so hostile towards our freedom. I never dreamt in my life. I know they can come out and say, we don't support you, don't do, but to be bringing... Every six months, there's one operation or the other going on in our land. To kill us. The people that we're fighting for. The same people that we are fighting for, they have come to kill us. And somebody has the temerity to say, uh, our elite, our, our political leaders. A murderer is your political leader. The mistake that people made was not to take out Obabi Asika after the war when they made him the governor of um, administrator of East Central State. He was a traitor and a saboteur. He was an investor of Ibado. But he was writing all manner of rubbish against our leader Ujugu. all these rats you see online that claimed before they were part of IPUB but now talking rubbish some of them of course spoiled out of jealousy because of what Kone Wobosi said when he handed power over to me that's exactly what Obabi Asika did during the war that was what sadly Chubo Kadibo did during the time of Unam and that was what a lot of them has done ever since in Ohaneze. They go and castigate their own people in the hope of attracting some kind of um, stipend from politicians. That's what they do. Very sad indeed. There are traitors in our midst. And we must be very, very careful of these people. Because they are more now in number than they ever were between 67 and 70. A Biafran is the easiest person to convert to become a saboteur. And I will tell you why. Because they don't know the difference between healthy competition, envy, and jealousy. 
Some of you dream to be part of the leadership of IPAB, but you can never be. Some of them wait and wait and wait, and when we don't invite them to come and join the leadership, they turn around and start writing rubbish. That's what you see online. Very sad indeed. We have more traitors today than the leadership experience between 60 and 70. We must be very careful of those that write beautiful about IPOB. They are only positioning themselves to be known within the struggle. After a while, in a couple that's what they all do. We know them. They think they have collected enough followers, then uh, they can flex their muscle. Umokoko. We've seen all of you before. We have seen all of you before. On this issue of boycott, you must understand this. There are those who would like us to boycott elections, those in APC. They are the ones saying, oh, but, but you said you're going to boycott. You must. I could go home, but I've collected money. To pressure us to boycott. Understand this. Because if we boycott, everybody knows that Jubilee will win. There are those in PDP saying, Oh, you, you must not boycott. What you're doing is a disservice to our people. Is the your enemy of the people by asking us to boycott. They're in PDP. They want to win. So, of course, I don't envy our position. I don't at all. This is a very difficult one. But we are going to boycott election, as I said. And we must. For the world to know how serious we are. They are not contributing to the debate based on principled reasons as we have been espousing, but to serve the selfish interest of Nigeria's political parties. APC wants us to boycott. PDP wants us to vote. You see them all. You, they won't tell you that who they are. All these years, they were not saying all hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. We are hardcore. All hell Biafra. Publishing Biafra photos. You don't know they are waiting for now to strike. And that's what they've been doing. Ndushi. They want to become relevant, but don't know how to go about it. Because this election period on some of these fake Biafrans, like the caliphate slaves that they serve, see it as an opportunity to make money. Their aim is to undermine this great family by subtly, very subtly, planting doubts in the minds of those who are very feeble. Uh, 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 somebody said, "Oh, the leader said we should bo uh, we should vote." Oh, others say, uh, uh, "The leader said we should go and uh, and 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 vote." Are you mad? Are you are you deaf? Are you deaf? I said we are boycotting. Are you not hearing me? Oh dear me! You know they write very cleverly. You think that and. Anyway, but I, what I love is that they cannot write in their own names anymore. The old uh, guard of baby saboteurs, they can no longer write. They always uh, find solace in fake Facebook accounts to be writing rubbish. They can't come out openly anymore because we know who they are. They can't. And if they don't mention on them, they can't or IPUB. They are irrelevant. Compl Nobody wants to read from them. Nobody wants to hear them. Nobody. So all they do is they save up a bit of money. Maybe I think it's about seven thousand five hundred. They pay a journalist. And then you send us slippers. What I? They pay a journalist uh, seven thousand five hundred. Oh, please write her. We have something to say against IPUB. It's going to make headline news. Write it. Then we'll take money from them, put it and write something. Oh, this group opposed IPUB on this, so that politicians can notice them. It's a very simple game now. You don't know. If I come online and I'm saying, oh, I'm IPOB, I'm hardcore, and I collect a large following. Very simple. When they begin to criticize IPOB, I have to attract attention from I try to go back and give you money. That's how it's done. That is how it is done. I buy his work. I was CHK. Those of you going through our bank, announcing that I had called up the elections, all of you, you liars and workers of iniquity. You know me, Mpomadon is final. Ask saboteurs what became of them. We are going to boycott elections, stop this. Focus on it, evangelize, and make sure we lock down Biafra on the 6th of February. Very simple. 
Lock it down completely. That the world may know that we are serious. The, the, these traitors. These they come in, they pretend like a chameleon. Oh, we are all healthy. We are hardcore. We are going to do this. They cultivate your attention over the years and nurture it. Only waiting for the right time to sell their soul to the devil. But we know who they are. And they can never succeed. So if you're going to quote me from this night onwards, tell the world what I said. That we are boycotting the elections. As simple as ABC. You get, would you understand that? Don't say it because I'm here with you. Is what I'm saying making sense to you? Nobody in their right mind will want to see OKZ Bazo back in office or Dave Umahi. If you do, that means you don't understand what freedom fighting is all about. I mean, you could be a robber. You must understand that. They have killed our people. And it is my duty as the leader of IPOB to ensure that everybody involved or all those involved in the killing of our people is brought to book. And we are doing it. There's another thing we're going to tell you. I thank you all very much for listening. But we're not going to go off. I need, I need, I need questions from you. What are people saying? What are they actually saying? I want to hear it. What they are saying. What are they saying? I want to hear and I want to answer the questions. All right. Uh, good evening, great BF fans and wonderful people. Of course, this is a live presentation of Radio Biafra. And we are live. We are direct with the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Of course, the enemies are working tirelessly to twist what our leader has been saying. But as you know, we are IPOB. We are not moved. We are not shaken. And this evening, we are here to shred all their lies and, of course, allow their friends to understand where we stand as far as boycotting election is concerned. And our leader is here to do just that. All right. Mazi, the first question is this. How are we going to defend our land? Now, this person is asking about something entirely differently. But, of course, on, a, on a referendum, actually. It's asking, how are we going to defend our land on the day of the referendum if the zoo army decides to attack us? Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, what's the name of the person who asked the question? Do you know? All right. No, no, no. no, no. Yes, sir. Um, it is not something that I'm going to tell you on air because they will know. But I can assure you that during the period leading up to our referendum they will announce operation pattern dance five because there will be another operation pattern dance before that very one they will announce it that's what they will do to try and stop us but we have devised a very clever way of distributing our ballot papers and collecting them that will make it almost virtually impossible for them to intercept they may get one or two but eventually the results will be collected and announced and that's what we're working towards it's a very brilliant question, but I cannot tell you what we're going to do live on air. That was part of the problem why I said that we couldn't have held referendum last year. Because I want to be able to oversee it myself. And believe you me, it's going to work. To work. Next question. Please. All right. Uh, actually, the person who asked this question, his name is Samuel King from Ohafia. Samuel King. That's right. Thank you very much. All right. So moving to the next question. Um... There has been a lot of misunderstanding, and this is not coming from IPOB because we were direct on what we are saying. But now, trusting the Yoruba Gota media journalists and some saboteurs in our land, they have gone ahead to begin to campaign to twist what we have been saying here on this platform. Now, this person is asking, are we to vote in a Boni state and Abia? I said, no. They will be removed from office. I, uh, when the campaign starts, which have not started to remove them, the world will know what we are going to do. And they will be told. Because our enemies are very, very resourceful. They want me to announce on air how we are going to do it. I think that is the problem. Uh, but I will not tell them how we are going to do it. When the time comes, we shall tell the people how to respond to it. After all, if I say we are going to vote... Another group will rise up and say, hey, but you don't have PVC. You know, these people, they are very, very clever. Very clever. 
Yeah, but uh, I job. We know how to cure them. When the time comes, we shall give instructions as to what to do. Right now, we focus on the 16th of February, presidential elections, and the boycott of it. All right, dear friends, you have heard it live and direct on this platform. And we always say it, if you did not hear it on Radio Biafra, then it does not exist. If you go around listening to people on Facebook or all the medias or whatever, of course, you are not doing yourself a favor. So it has been said, we will tell you how it is going to happen. But the bottom line is, Omahi and Okezi Bazo must be removed from office. There is no two ways about it. Okay, moving on to the third question. And this person says um, that he is listening from us from Afi, but not local government in Eboni province. And he said that people are saying that our leader said, <laughs> see, 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 should we vote out Okezi Bazo and Omahi of Eboni? I will tell them what to do when we get closer to the time because if I tell you what we are going to do now, the zoo will circumvent it. They will develop an antidote for it. You know they have the resources and they have enough saboteurs within our midst. So we know what we are going to do when the time comes, we shall tell you. But Ebony State, Dave Omar and Loki of Abe, they are the enemy number one enemy of the people because they are murderers, they are killers, and they are boasting. They kill, they kidnap, they torture, and they're boasting. Very sad indeed. All right. So, dear friends, you have heard it once again, and we are still saying the same thing. And all you have to do is to keep listening to Radio Biafra. Of course, you know we preach nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And of course, when the time comes, we will tell you how this will be done. For now, let's focus on the 16th of February presidential election, which we are going to boycott 120 percent, if there's anything like that. All right, let's go to the next one. And of course, it, it appears that the whole question here is all about should we vote or should we not vote? And of course, we have answered that. Um, okay, let me see the last one. That is what the governors, they want to hear. That's what the governors want to hear. How is he going to do it? You know that they are listening to me right now, wondering how are they going to do it? But we are not going to tell them. But we shall remove them from office. As simple as that. All right, we are IPOB and we know how to surprise our enemies. We don't tell them how it happens, but when the time comes, we will tell them how it happens. Just like our leader will always say, All right, let's go to the number five. And of course, this appears to be the last one. And this person is basically saying, I want to say, what I want to say is this. Should we boycott every election, both presidential and governorship? My reason is this. We do not have PVC to vote, and we've been saying PVC is useless, and somebody like me do not have PVC. So what shall we use to vote? Of course, it comes to Every, the same thing. It, I will, and I will answer the question. Do we agree that some people actually have PVC in our land? Let me tell you one thing that people don't quite understand. There was a time when if you don't have PVC, you will not collect your salary. If you don't have PVC, there will be no BVN for you. Everybody with their PVC in our land is an indigenous person of Biafra. And will do as told on that very day. Unless some of you that you know specialize in selling your votes will go and of course um, do the same thing that some of you did in the Nambra State. Which is to sell your vote to somebody. But that day we shall boycott. And as, as I said... We are going to tell you exactly how we will do it. We are boycotting every election. But we shall remove Okezi Bazo and Dave Omai. As simple as that. All right, uh, Mazi. And the next one is this. Uh, this person is simply asking this question. And of course, this whole thing still comes to the issue of whether we should or we shouldn't do so, but of course we understand that this has been, you know, the lie. Every boycott elections, as simple as that. Every election will be boycotted, as simple as that. But we will remove Okezi Bazo and Dave Umahi. You want me to tell the zoo exactly how we're going to do it live on air, so they can go and counter it? No, I won't. All right, dear friends, let's recap on this. Our leader said unequivocally that we are going to boycott all the elections in Biafra land, of course, starting from the presidential election. Now, when it comes to the gubernatorial election, you have to keep on listening to Radio Biafra, and then we will tell you how we are going to do it. But for now, for now, 
there is nothing yet to give out but the bottom line is we are boycotting all right Marzi, the last one of course uh, <laughs> this person said Marzi, that day of course we should be we should be sitting at home can you recommend to us what soup we'll be cooking that day is it okazi or offense salad it's okazi. I know that some people don't eat okazi because um, on a try jump more. There are some people who don't eat okazi because um, it drives away evil spirit. Uh, it's okazi that very year. I know some people are not used to it, but it's very good. It's, um, it's, it's very good source of fiber, so to speak. It's very good. It's okazi. It was cooked on that very day. If you can, you put achara in it. If not, then just okazi would do. All right, so from offense, Salah, we are moving to Okazi. So if you know how to cook it, uh, you better get ready. If you don't know how to cook it, begin to prepare and learn how to do so because that day it will be total shutdown, total lockdown because we want to tell them who owns the land. Biafra land belongs to us and power belongs to the people. Of course, the people are the people of Biafra. Maz, I think that is all I have uh, this evening for you with regards to the question. Thank you very much. I was expecting far more difficult questions, but as always, they will not come up when I'm live on air. And um, of course, I'm, I'm prohibited from responding directly to people on social media. So I have this to say before we bring today's um, broadcast to an end. That we are boycotting all elections. And I had hoped very sincerely that some people will make reference to the senseless and relentless slaughter of our people by Dave Omahi and OKZ Bazu. But it seems people are preoccupied with voting rather than being concerned about those who fail. Maybe I feel sentimental towards them because um, I have seen men die. And I myself came close to being shot to death myself. So you will forgive me if I remember them a lot. Not just when I preach on air, but also in my prayers. Because um, it is important that we remember those that fought and fell for us. To ensure that Biafra comes. And on that very note, this very evening I ask you to... Remain resolute and remain determined. Do not waver. Because Biafra must come. And most of us will leave to see Biafra. But traitors cannot see Biafra. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. May Chukwoke Kabi Ama bless, sustain, guide and keep each and every one of you. Until next weekend. From me, from here, it is good night.